Lead has a density of 11.3 grams per centimeter cubed. And liquid mercury has a density of 13.5 grams for every centimeter cubed. So lead is less dense than liquid mercury, which means for every centimeter cubed of the material, lead will have less mass than the mercury. So what would you observe if a block of lead was placed into a beaker of liquid mercury? And explain your answer. So here's some lead with the symbol PB, and we're going to put it into some mercury with the symbol HG. So the, the simple answer to this is that as lead, so as lead is less dense than mercury, it will float. In the same way that if you have hot air, it becomes less dense than the cooler air around it, and it will tend to rise. So it's the same kind of reason. But let me show you another way of thinking of this, which hopefully will make a bit more sense. So let's say we've got a, a, a beaker. And we're going to fill it full of liquid mercury. So I'm just going to put that across there. And we're going to put in a block of lead. So I'm just going to write, I'm going to put a block of lead like that in there for the moment. And then next door to it, I'm going to show the same volume, but of mercury. So this one here, we can say is mercury. Put that as HG. And this one here is lead or plumbus from the Latin plumbus PB. They've got the same volumes. So let's have a think about what happens here. If they've got the same volumes, let's just write that here. So consider two blocks of each material. with the same volume. If we've got the same volume, then what would be the mass of each of these two blocks? Well, let's say that the volume is one centimeter cubed of each one. Well, because we know that mercury has a density of 13.5 grams for every centimeter cubed. We know that this will have 13.5 grams of mass if these are both centimeter cubes. What about the lead? Well, the lead we said is less dense, so it only has 11.3 grams for every centimeter cubed. So let's put that in there. So the lead would have. 11.3 grams as it's one centimeter cubed. Well now let's think about these floating side by side or just side by side. Which one's got the greater weight force due to gravity? Well it's the one which has got the bigger mass so that would be the mercury. And so we can think of a larger weight force pushing this block downwards compared to the lead, which has got a, a smaller weight force because it's got a smaller mass. And so which one is going to push underneath the other? Well, it's going to be the mercury. The mercury is going to win the race to the bottom of the, the beaker and it's going to leave the lead above it. And that's why lead floats in mercury. And that's why any object which is less dense than the surrounding fluid will float because the surrounding fluid wins the race to the bottom of the container uh, 
because there's more weight force acting on it than there is on the object. I hope that makes some sense, but for the moment, the most important thing is this statement that as lead is less dense than mercury, it will float. See you in the next flashcard.